Neighbors say this is a common occurrence at the intersection of Wyandotte and Paulette, where last week a 79-year-old pedestrian died after being struck by a vehicle that was making a turn. We do have people that just go around the corner without even stopping or paying attention to the traffic lights, and this seems to be a drag strip for many cars. So we've been here since 1975, even growing up in this restaurant. There was an accident maybe once a month or so. It's issues like these which the city hopes to tackle through a Vision Zero framework. It asks regions to reconsider how they design their road systems in order to eliminate fatalities and serious injuries. It was endorsed by city council more than three years ago, and while an action plan has yet to be put forward, that will soon change. I believe it's within the next month or two, but um, obviously we have a few steps that we have to get through in order to uh, to get everything finalized. The city's executive director of operations, Shauna Boak, says a number of discussions have been taking place between community stakeholders and city departments. The goal? Gather input on the recommendations behind Vision Zero for things like radar signs, pedestrian countdowns, and reduced speed limits since she says research can be conflicting on the effectiveness of individual safety measures. We look at how we could possibly implement them, what the benefits we see for them. The things that we can do right away are going to be in those short-term goals. We were all encouraged when Vision Zero was talked about. This is a prime example having a, a 79 year old man killed here this weekend and with all the traffic incidents that we need to move on this quickly. The fast tracking of Vision Zero was a hot button discussion during the recent municipal election. At the time, Windsor Mayor Drew Dilkins said a number of traffic calming measures are already moving forward in the city and other measures need to be implemented in phases as the budget allows. Sanjay Maru, CTV News.